we flew into into Gonaev kind of late in the day, and um, you couldn't think anything could get any worse than this. Really, just total destruction. Everybody's homeless. You know, hundreds of thousands of people left homeless. There were reports of maybe 300 people dead from just from the aftermath of Tropical Storm Hannah. As we approached Gonaive, you saw the, the massive destruction, the, you know, the flooding. And uh, reporter, I'm going with reporter Jackie Charles. So um, Jackie and I ended up going out through the gates of the base. And at the gates, there was just a mob of desperate people trying to get food or water or whatever. And we headed out through, through the gates into the town and didn't know what to expect. You know, we just trudged through the town and saw, you know, just one, one unbelievable scene after another of people carrying what they salvaged from, you know, their flooded homes, you know, battered little boxes and suitcases and stuff over their heads. They, they had grabbed whatever they could, but where were they going to go to? Because the, the entire place was totally, you know, just destroyed. So we gathered our... You know, we gathered our images, we gathered the story, and, and flew back that afternoon, late that afternoon, to Port-au-Prince. We basically thought, okay, we could be done. Lo and behold, you know, we had no idea what a nightmare we were, we were in for when, um, you know, uh, Hurricane Ike hit. We had no idea, you know, what we would see when we went up to Cabaret the next day. The, you know, we as soon as we got into town, we we saw a, a you know, the body of a woman, right by the side of the river, and then we, uh, somebody told us about. You know, this other area over where, um, um, where all the babies were. And uh, so we went there and there was a crowd and, um, and you know, on the ground there was 12 babies. There's no way you would ever imagine walking up and seeing 12 babies on the ground, dead, that washed away in a storm. As I'm photographing this front, Samiti walks through and he's got kind of a bottle of water and uh, he grabs his baby and starts cleaning her. And his intentions were to, um, you know, put a pretty dress on her. And, uh, and uh, you know, out of respect for his daughter, you know, he didn't want her there dirty and covered in mud. And so he was going to clean her off and put a dress on her. And um, he, uh, uh, he cleaned her off, but he never had a chance to get the dress because the coroner came and uh, started loading the baby's bodies into the back of a pickup truck. And they said, don't, you know, I guess they convinced him that they would take care of her, that they would show respect for her. That, and so he, you know, he eventually let them take her, take her, and that's her who they're loading into the truck. You know, and uh, just an overwhelming um, scene. Uh, and then, you know, I mean, that really wasn't the end of it. There, there was so much pain and so much destruction in that small little town of Cabaret that 
um, literally Jackie and I just sat in the car for, you know, for a while. Um, I don't know, you know, to decompress or whatever. And then we made our way back to uh, Port-au-Prince. It kind of was the storm, but then, you know, what happened as a result of the storm, you know, the malnutrition, the overcrowded hospitals, the, you know, the crops being washed away, just, you know, a fragile infrastructure, even more fragile now, you know, just, I mean, just throw a couple of hurricanes on top of it like this and it's just, it, it, it boggles your mind why something would ever happen like this or how could they deal with it or, you know, you know, I don't know. It was overwhelming. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. The worst thing I've ever photographed, you know. Being a photographer, being a news photographer, you know, you're, you're thrust into situations, you're thrust into news situations, you're, you, you see sad situations. You, um, and, and you deal with them, you get behind the camera, the camera's a shield, you, I don't know, but this day I can tell you I have no recollection of how I could have done it or, um, you know, why, why I chose to shoot where I shot or how I shot it or, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you question, you know, is anybody going to see this and is it going to make a difference, you know? And I think certainly in this case, I don't know if it's enough. I don't know, Haiti is, a, is just a, a very difficult place and I don't know if it's enough, if it, but it's got to be a start. Something's got to, something's got to happen. <laughs>